Hello and welcome. Carrie here from Homestead How, along with my friend JT, rocking the compassionate carnivore t shirt. How's it going, JT? It's going great. Man, it's going great. Listen, no complaints. I, I prepared some notes and I have a Ooh. feeling I'm not going to need these notes. I think we're probably just going to have a chat and discuss it's things. Be fun. And, yeah, I have a feeling. I got a little mm -hmm. bit of a feeling on that one. <laughs> So would you mind just telling us a little bit about yourself and uh, carnivore, your, your carnivore story? Yeah, sure. Um, my carnivore story, though, starts out with how I even found you. OK, so your doc, your Dr. Chafee like that, that to you is like you're to me. You know, I found out about carnivore through you. So I have to give you that credit. I know I took the steps, but I got to give you that credit. But I originally came across this is funny. I'm a. I'm a Homestead How subscriber. I'm a Homestead How fan. Um, I'm a city boy. I was born and raised in Milwaukee, okay? But I have a love for homesteading. I would, I don't, I, I don't have the talent to do it like Carrie. And I don't either. The other guys. <laughs> no, you do great, man. And you do great. And but my favorite homesteading show was um, Homestead Rescue with uh, Marty, Misty, and Matt. Yes. Yeah. I love that show, man. I can't get enough. But when it came to YouTube, you're you were my channel. You're you're my you're my homestead. It's my two favorite homesteading shows. Period. But I found you. I was I has um I use wood charcoal for my grill. Okay, and I had leftover ashes. And you had a video like I think it was like repurposing how, fire how, ashes. Or something. I could tell you exactly what it is because I I have I have a love hate relationship with that video. So. I have worked very, very hard on many YouTube videos that then just go and like nothing happens. I get no views. Yeah. And then this video, which I just cobbled together and I'm I'm like messy and the audio is bad and the video is bad. That video went insane. I don't know what YouTube was thinking, but it's called how to reuse firewood ash or something yeah. like that. Like 30 ways to respond. That video has over 4 million views. It's the I biggest believe that's video. how I found you. That I believe it. Wow. Well, thank you, YouTube, for putting my worst video <laughs> up there for everyone to see. I will take it, though. So that's yeah. how you found me. I didn't know that. So you've been watching the homesteading stuff. Yeah, I've been watching the homesteading stuff. And um, I I saw the video, but that's that's just where it starts. So I didn't subscribe at first. OK, but I liked your video. I came there. What I, I just wanted to know what I could do with the ash. So I did that. But then all of a sudden you popped up twice on me. You popped up again. I'm uh, into UFOs and extraterrestrial life all that stuff and it said mont uh, ufo over montella wisconsin popped up and i was like wait a minute that's the guy from the uh fire ash video i was like okay and i was like wait he's from wisconsin i was like whoa 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 this homesteading dude's okay i was like this is my guy he's my type of people we're talking ufos and homesteading i was like sign me up dude so i subscribed there and then that i've been watching everything you put out since my guy everything i, I love what wow. you do and i love that you try to teach people what you're doing like it's like behind the scenes of a homestead behind the scenes of the movie theater like i love it man you got good energy and uh that's how i found you so i'm a homestead how subscriber and then uh i saw you doing the carnivore and i was like dude man i remember the bags under the eyes and everything and it just you pumped me up man like chafee pumped you up and uh i took took that leap and uh it it worked and i learned from my coach bob proctor he passed away in 21 2021 but he said that if you want to know how to do something you got to go to someone who knows exactly how what you want to do and do exactly what they say and you'll be successful and you're already one of these unconscious competents whether you know it or not like you were saying you went to a guy who knew about movie theaters yes. and you learn from them directly. That's what you got to do. You're already doing that. And please teach that to your subscribers. Like, and that's, I went, I saw your results. Okay. And so I said, I'm going to carry going to his videos. I'm going to do exactly what this crazy dude says, because I want these crazy results. Right. And, uh, and that's, that's how I got on the carnivore and I'm on day 44 or something today. And I'm, I've been at 175 for about the past week. So I kind of plateaued, but, I mean, no more sleep apnea, uh, no more IBS, even the sleep apnea. Um, that's a touchy one, man. I had that. I had three episodes of that really bad. 
Mm. Like um, I, it's it's happened more, but three times where I just I thought I was gonna bite the dust, man. I just couldn't wake my lungs up. Wow. I was awake. I'm walking around the house. I'm trying to lift my arms up. I'm like, maybe it will help. Oh, I didn't know. You know, you're scared. You're panicked. And yeah. it was before I had my wife. You know, and um, the sleep. Don't please. I just want to tell people like, just because the carnivore helped me, don't. If you're on a sleep apnea machine, please stay on it until your body is healthy enough to not need it. Because yes. don't be dumb like me. I was very stupid. And I always, I never once used the machine. I refused. I said I would rather die. And that is literally what, what almost happened. I, I, I literally almost died. And the third time was the worst. I, I literally couldn't get any air in. I gaffed so hard, Carrie, for for the longest time, dude. Wow. But I wasn't done. You know what I'm saying? I, it was at that moment I had a, a mind shift to be grateful for life itself. And you can't have any success in life if you're not grateful for life itself, this experience. Yes. Like I could be dead right now and not talking to you or wearing the shirt or anything. Yep. But yep. I... I I said, no, I'm not done. I, I want to live. And I wasn't mad at the universe or God giving me those results because they were what I ordered. They were my bad decisions, drinking, smoking, eating junk all the time. And yeah. no wonder why my gut was inflated. And, it, and I puked up every time after I ate. The only thing that felt good was laying in a hot tub or taking a hot shower. Mm -hmm. I just... And then you start getting de depressing thoughts. Yeah. You start thinking there's something wrong with me. Why is why can everybody else go to a, an airport and not need to know where the bathroom is or need to know where they can get the nearest hot shower? Even it's so it's pathetic to live like that. It's pathetic. Yeah. And I'm not getting on anybody that is. But I'm saying that's how I felt. I felt I started getting those bad thoughts. You know, you feel pathetic. You feel down. You don't because you're not you. You're in that fog like you were talking about. Yeah. And it's hard to know you're in it until you're out of it. And you, once you're finally out of it, you get that clarity. And it's right. It's beautiful. And I want to bring up Bill because he was talking in his video. He realized that he wouldn't be around much longer. That's that's what was me in that moment. I couldn't breathe. When you realize you're not going to be around much longer, you either make a decision to let go or you make the decision that you still want to live here you still want to be here you you want to live you want to you want to choose the light you want to turn on the light and forget about the darkness so if anybody's in a bad time in their life right now it's like when you get home at like 11 o'clock at night and your house is dark and you open the door what's the first thing you're going to do you're going to reach for the light and turn it on and to turn on the light in your life you got to focus on positivity so i focused on a guy like harry who was getting the results i wanted you know, that was the light I was turning on and and the carnivore then doing my research and seeing that he wasn't crazy. You know what I'm saying? There's a little there's, bit, a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You're <laughs> you're crazy in a great way. OK, I, right. I love it. Uh, but you can see that you really believed in it and it, it made me look into the research. So I'm glad when you tell people do the research and, right. you know, don't just hop into it. I had a couple of ants hop into it and hop in out already. It happens, but yeah. I just kind of hopped into it, but I already ate a lot of meat and stuff. So I was yeah. like, this is going to be awesome. And it worked for me. And, but, but like, yeah, if you're on the sleep apnea, um, please stay on it. And then if you are like, um, I think um, another reason too, I was, I had a lot of crap in my gut and they say the average person has 10 to 12 pounds of crap. And I just wanted to bring this, this is a Phillips colon health. Sorry about that. Four and one. If you have like bloating and uh, what's it? Constipation, diarrhea, gas, all that. At least get this. And um, you had Dr. Tony on here and he's talking yeah. about probiotics. Yep. And like he said, it's not sustainable because it will make you feel good. OK, so if you're eating a crap lifestyle and you want to feel better, take the probiotics. But that'll help you feel good enough to get your mind on something like the carnivore. And then you can get off all that stuff. But right. I just wanted to recommend, because there was a point in time where nobody even recommended this to me. And it, I would have took any relief at the time just to, so I could focus on something that would give me permanent relief. Right. You know, when you're looking for temporary relief, so you can focus. So that's, 
that's what I'm saying. Stay on the sleep apnea machine and get yourself some probiotics until you get better with the carnivore and start healing. If you have what, if you had what I had. Right. My thing with, um, man, I feel you. It's what worse feeling is there in the world than gasping for air, not being able to breathe. It's terrifying. It's scary. It's scary. I, it's I had the man. sleep apnea so bad. I was on the machine though. I, I totally agree with your advice too. Don't, don't just drop the machine. Some people ask me, how did you get over it? I, I know all the machines are a little bit different, but on mine, it would actually tell me like how many times I'd stop breathing throughout the wow. night. Okay. So that's cool. I think a lot of them do that. So if you guys have that, don't just stop like JT said, but monitor it, use that data and you can see, you mm -hmm. will see. I did that video with my wife, Jen, and it was just amazing. It's like a little science experiment. If you yes. have anyone like a loved one that's starting carnivore, I know it sounds creepy, but I don't care. Watch them sleep. It is amazing. You will see them the first day they're on carnivore. They're snoring like crazy, like they have for a year. Mm -hmm. Second day, yep. it goes down like 10%, 20%, 30%. On like the sixth or seventh day, they stop snoring. It's just My wife stopped snoring after three days, Carrie. Isn't it amazing? He stopped. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I saw that video too. I, I love your videos because at first, like, they're, um, they really get me to think too, you know? And uh, like, um, your one video, you posted a short, man. Uh, it said carnivores get high on steak. And I was laughing. I said, yeah, that's funny. But you, there's truth in that, though. I literally feel so good yeah. that that's how one of the reasons I, I stopped smoking pot. Like, I'm getting high off steak. Like, you, right? that title is as funny as it is. It's true, people. Like, you have to. That's what I, what I find things deeper. that are funny. Some things that are that are really funny. It's like, wait a minute. That is true kind of thing. And that's what it is like with the steak. It's so funny, too, because there's other non-carnivores watching this. And they're like, these two guys are crazy getting high on steak. They don't know. But then all the it's carnivores, true, with, us, the, the true, carnivores with us are probably like, oh, yeah, I've been there. Because there's something to that, man. I eat it. I just get energy. It's like a caffeine rush. It's something I feel great. Got a big smile on my face. But the CPAP machine, the thing that your wife stopped in a couple of days, that's so amazing. And people don't realize how important sleep is. It, it's vital to every part of your life. Yep. Everyone's just like, I got eight hours, I'm good. And they just, they really don't think about it. But the fact that I really, truly think this is like a huge epiphany that we need to be shouting about. So many people snore. I th I don't know what you thought, JT, but I, I went to a sleep doctor and I just thought, oh, I'm fat, fat people snore. And the sleep doctor was like, yeah, dude, <laughs> he, he was like, you got to lose about 80 pounds and then maybe you'll stop snoring. I thought it was solely fat. And I always had a big neck, especially when I was fatter. My neck mm -hmm. was huge. I was just like, I got to lose the weight. This is going to take me six months. No. It's like you you start carnivore. For me, it was like the first day. Now, I know that's crazy, but I was doing keto on and off before that. But Dr. Yep. Jordan Peterson was one week. Your wife was three days. And I've heard person after person say the same thing. In the first couple of days, they stopped snoring. My wife stopped snoring within like five days and just gradually. You could, you, you could just do an experiment too. Like – I wouldn't want to do this, but I have my wife like, here, just start eating the crap again. I guarantee you the snoring will start again. It's yeah, just, yeah, it's everything's going to come back. That's why I haven't stopped, Carrie, because other people will see too. When you're far enough in this journey, it it's like you've made your way out of a dark dungeon into the beautiful sunlight. You were shackled in everything, my God, dude. And you finally out. Do you think you're going to go back in for anything you might have forgot? Yeah. No, yeah. no, you're I'm never. Good. Get, I'm going to try to get further and further away from it, further yes. and further away from it. One of the things you said earlier was really cool, though, because I've kind of hinted at that, but it must have resonated with you because you picked up the message. What you were saying earlier about your coach, what, what exactly mm -hmm. did he say again? Could you repeat that? Oh, um, if, you want to be success, I... if you want to be successful, you follow oh, someone else. Yes, yes. If you want to be successful at whatever, if it's even writing a book, you go to someone who's authored a book before. I mean, if you want to, I, I, I used to make beats and be in a uh, music group, all that. So I learned how to make beats from someone who I admired making beats. Like um, Carrie wanted to learn about movie theaters. You got to go exactly to someone who knows how to what you want to do and do exactly what they say. And you're going to win. And that's the cool thing my coach taught me. There is no such thing as luck. Lucky people seem lucky because they've been making good decisions every day. And they've got things going their way. It's a flow. And that's why in the Bible it says the rich get rich and the poor get poor. It's I'm in the natural law like you're into stoicism. And it's a it's a natural law. Like whatever you send out, you get. So if you're not 
serving anybody, you're not going to make any money. You're in like a negative flow. If you're thinking negative, you're going to get bad thoughts. Thinking depression, depression leads to suicide. You know, you become what you think about, literally. Yep, yep. And that's why we need to, I've been preaching lately, not preaching, but just saying, we need to love ourselves because when you go inside yourself and send love to yourself and send love to yourself by the decisions you make. So you say, I'm going to choose the water instead of the soda. And that's opposites. Uh, the law of polarity, the law of opposites. What's the opposite of uh, water? It's soda. Opposite of soda is water. You know, you can't have an up without a down, uh, an inside without an out. You know, you can't have a question without an answer. And also you can't have a problem without a solution. And when you know these things, it gives you so much confidence yeah. to go out in life and do what you want to do. It, regardless, if it's getting healthier, if it's starting a YouTube channel. And that's the other thing. If you guys have an urge to do carnivore or get healthy or uh, start a YouTube channel and share, those desires are powers in the universe that are seeking manis manifestation through you, through your help. Like you're made in God's image. You can create and do anything, you know, and Bill was saying he, in one of his videos, he's got these voices that tell him, he's like, well, it's, it's a lot. And you know, maybe I can't do this. I had those same voices, Bill. I had those same voice. We all do. It's our paradigm. And it's like a little evil parrot, man. It sits on your shoulder. And it's like, you know, this ain't going to work and that ain't going to work. And, and you got to ignore that. And even if to the point where you got to like yell at that voice, like, Bob was coaching someone and they were behind the curtain before they were going to perform. And they, they said that they had this voice in their head. They were saying, you're going to be a terrible performance. It's going to, you're going to choke. You're going to forget your lines. And he told the voice, be quiet. That's enough. And like you said, become the captain over your ship. You yell at that voice and you say, shut up. I have had enough of your crap. And you, that voice is not, does not care about you. It's not going to lead you in good places. So right. you have to love yourself and then tell that voice, no more. I'm in control. I'm the captain of the ship now, like Harry says. And then you make those decisions every day to choose the water, to choose the uh, the beef instead of the Cheetos. And you love yourself. And when you right. you find the power of a decision, that's why I wanted to tell people, look, I'm married and, and so are you, Carrie. Look at all the things that happened when you decided to marry that one woman. Kids, house, the cars you bought, the things you've learned, starting a YouTube channel, getting them on the videos. All that came from that one decision. That's a lot of power, my guy, mm -hmm. in one decision. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to tell people. You make one decision, look how powerful that is. Now you start adding up all your decisions every day, and then you start getting in that good flow. And then you start being like what people call lucky. And you're not lucky. You've been working hard on yourself. You've been loving yourself. That's not luck. And then, But when you love yourself more, you're going to find out that Love loving yourself is so beneficial. You're going to even want to send love to other people. And that's the great thing about loving yourself because when you learn how to love yourself, you learn how to love others. You learn how to spread that love. And yeah. that's, that's why I wanted to, that's you know, I don't awesome. want to get all preachy. I still want to talk. Nah. I hope I'm not scared. No, no, no. I, I love what you're saying. Cause you, a couple of things you said just really resonated with me. One of the things you're talking about with, um, uh, well, like what your coach was saying, if you want to be successful, you follow someone that's successful. I read this book like 10 or 15 years ago, and this is where I learned that. And I don't know if I've, I've, I've touched on it a little bit, like with the movie theater thing I said, when I got the movie theater, I went out and I saw someone else that was running a successful movie theater, theater yeah. to learn from them. So you caught that. I don't think anyone else ever caught that, but I, I tell my girls that all the time. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. I love this book and uh, I highly recommend this book. And I wish I, I used to have like four or five copies. I should probably just get it and read it again. But this is where I learned that from this one little book. And this, so this is The Richest Man Who Ever Lived, King Solomon's Secret to Success, Wealth, and Happiness. It isn't like a religious book or anything like that. It kind of is everything like JT was just talking about, about making decisions and how important wisdom is in, infecti in affecting your decisions mm -hmm. and how important certain things are. And one of the things they talk about in here, they call it, um, they call it effective partnerships. And the author is saying, if you look at all of the successful people in the world, sometimes you think they're on their own. But then when you really look, it's usually due to an effective partnership with somebody else. Um, like Hewlett had Packard and all these guys you look at, there's usually someone next to them. So Birds of uh, a feather flock together. 
Right. And then the other thing, which you were just talking about, like your decisions. If you, mm -hmm. if I brought my girls in here right now and you just said the word decisions and what does dad say, they're going to all roll your eyes. Cause I say the same statement all the time. And it's, it's truth it's, though. That's it's, why it needs to be said all the time. It's truth. This is what I say to them. I say, girls, your life is a result of all of the decisions you make. It's so important. The decisions mm -hmm. you make. And that's why I, I said in that first video, I'd rather have, um, I'd rather know about carnivore diet than have a billion dollars. In the same vein as that, I was going to do another video. I haven't done it yet. And, and people all call me out. They're like, oh, you're, you take that billion dollars. I really would no, not. No. I would not. No, but, because you get, you've gained a new level of awareness. And yeah. awareness is something you could never replace, which is why you'd never go back down in that dungeon. Right. You have I, a new – you've seen miserable. the light. Why would you ever go back to the darkness? Right. And, and I was miserable before. I was suffering. But all of that aside, there's another deeper reason for that too. The other video I was going to do is this. I was going to go buy a lottery ticket and I was just mm -hmm. going to rip it up on the thing. <laughs> like, I don't know, a little dramatic or whatever. But hey, if, if, whatever if I could, catches people. Yeah. If, if I could have – if I could have – um like one little percent more wisdom versus a billion dollars. I would rather have that wisdom. Mm -hmm. People are going to say I'm full of crap on that one too. The thing is with the, with the billion dollars that everyone's so obsessed with, I've talked about this a little bit before on the channel, but I don't you know if you've ever seen you. this. You can't take it with you. Mm -mm. And almost everybody that wins the lottery, this is a true thing. It's called the curse of the lottery. They almost all end up on drugs and they end up dead and they end up miserable. Almost all of them. It's like they've done like some studies on this. And when you think about it, and if you're using wisdom and really thinking about it deeply, why is that? Because when you get that billion dollars, you're trading something for it. You're trading your purpose. You don't have mm -hmm. a purpose anymore. You don't have to go to work. You don't have to do anything. That sounds really appealing to people that are you know working 18 hours a day. Of course, it sounds appealing. Until you start doing it for a while and you have no purpose and you just wake up and morning, oh, what am I going to do now? And then you right. got to start doing stupid stuff just to be entertained. Like, I'll just go blow a bunch of money at the casino or I'll start drinking or I'll do drugs. And it happens to every single person. It's the, having the they purpose don't, is more important. They don't make that important. paradigm shift. You know, right. it, it, the people who gotten the money are, are shifting their mind along the ways rather than if it just comes to you, you know, like it's, then you wouldn't know. How, I feel like even if someone dropped like an apartment building on your lap, you wouldn't even know how to manage it properly. You aren't thought isn't into real estate and things like that. you got to be, you know, taught and you got to learn how to manage everything, even money, you know, right. as crazy as that is. But what, yep. I just want to tell you one more thing. My coach said, I always, it's been racking my, you know, ever since he said it, he says, we all have, Already, we have what we need to get what we want. All of us. We have already, we have what we need to get what we want. And I thought, man, I have what I need to get what I want. And it's true. It, think about it. Like you told Bill, like, just get a camera and talk. Don't overcomplicate it. You know, like you don't need a billion dollar camera to, to YouTube yourself. Like you, if you already have a small camera. Um, but beyond all that, if you look inside, I was thinking about it confidence we all have confidence you know and, and before you shut your mind out and say well no listen when i was at my worst i was super super confident okay i knew i liked glazed donuts more than powdered donuts i was confident that i liked coca-cola more than pepsi you know i had the confidence but i it wasn't aimed in towards something that was good for me so i, I think we all have that confidence you know and one other thing too I was confident because I knew what I wanted. Okay. And one thing, when you know exactly what you want, you're going to track that and you can't, it's like, um, my coach is teaching me. We're like our own little genies, except for three wishes. We get unlimited wishes. You can have anything you want as long as you know what you want. And you're going to get this carnivore documentary because you know, you want that documentary made. You know, you want to help change people's lives. You know, this is your purpose. And Purpose is hard for people to find in life and they don't find it all the time. And you're blessed for finding that, you know, right. and for me, I've had people telling me about the carnivore diet, like, Oh, you know, that's not going to be good for your YouTube channel. Like, yeah, that won't help you. I don't, if I don't get a million views on a video, that is just fine. If I help one person to not feel like I felt to me, that's worth it, man. I can make money doing other stuff. I don't need to make money on my YouTube channel from carnival i'm not saying nothing but i'm just saying like i've had people tell me well because i'm in the a different niche i'm in the family niche and oh that might not be good i don't care i what they think you gotta you gotta i've had a second chance at life i'm gonna try to 
help people and I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm loving myself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if it means going carnivore, then that's exactly what I'm doing. And I, I suggest other people to just love yourself and don't listen to the naysayers. There are a lot of them. I've been told too that it's not medically sustainable. I'm going to have a heart attack. I will let you, you guys will be the first ones to know when I have a heart attack. Okay. I'll take a vlog with my uh, GoPro right on the damn gurney bed. And I'll say, yep, it got me. Yeah. But I don't, I feel amazing. Honestly, right. Carrie, I don't, I'm not, I would never try to lead someone down that path, man. Ever, I've had this second chance and I'm just, I'm taking advantage of it. And I, I Bill is that same, you, you too, man. And Bill, like when you realize like you've made that decision to live again, you yeah. cherish it. That's why you rip up the billion dollar ticket. You've got a whole new level of confidence. And one more thing I've been learning about, thinking about why the carnivores glow and in my mind it's the cgc it's clarity gratitude and confidence when you have all this clarity from i got more clarity as i got farther in the diet from eating better i got out of that fog yeah and then it gave it showed when i got out of the fog all the things i was grateful for just kind of like jumped right out at my face like a like you're walking through a haunted house or something literally like it just all the things you're grateful jump right out at you when you have the right level of clarity. And when you see clearly and you see what you're grateful for, your family, for being alive, for being able to help people, because there's people watching you. You might, my coach says, you might just be one person, but to one person, you might be the world. Mm -hmm. So remember that you're setting an example for somebody. Okay. So, sorry, I'm not trying to get off tangent, buddy. No, no, this is good stuff because we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about carnivore now. But this is yeah. good stuff because a lot of the things you're talking about, I really think helped me be successful at carnivore. It's yeah, that's why I'm talking about it. I feel like it's not just carnivore. Yeah. When you're on the carnivore, you get all these epiphanies like C Carrie was saying. You see more clearly. You have more gratitude. And that gives you the confidence. And I think besides the food being good for you, that's why we're glowing. We're filled with clarity, gratitude, and confidence. And you're going to glow like an angel. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, one of the things I say, like you mentioned, people are saying, oh, you're going to get a heart attack thing. I've, I've gotten that one so many times. This mm -hmm. is my big thing. And this was, I don't know if it was a carnivore epiphany or what, but I've learned about more from several different doctors from talking to them. It's like everyone is so focused on that cholesterol and the LDL. You're going to die. You're going to have a heart attack. Nobody talks about metabolic health. And if you have poor metabolic health, you're 6x more likely to have heart disease. Mm -hmm. If you have bad LDL and cholesterol, it's like 1.4 X more mm -hmm. six versus 1.4. Everybody should be talking about metabolic health. And now JT, you've reversed all of your poor metabolic health. I mean, you're myself too. all of these things it's completely <laughs> reversed. And no, but nobody ever talks about it. That's one thing I hope we change with this carnivore diet. Documentary. Yeah. They want, they want to talk about how it's funny too. Like they're used to, I don't blame people. All right. I was just there too. I, you're used to seeing people out of shape and it's yeah. normal. And then that you think that's normal and that's that's not normal. Like we shouldn't be programmed to see things that shouldn't be there and to think that that's normal. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's yeah. just it's not normal for people to live inflated. And then they, they see all these inflated people and they're like, well, you're not inflated and you're you're going to die. Oh, but I wasn't going to die before on the right. sleep apnea. Right. I wasn't going to choke on my own vomit before. I wasn't going to maybe die in the tub. I mean give me a break, man. Like, and then when you're doing good, you're losing weight. Like I, I'm not only losing weight, I'm exercising too. So it's not like I'm just, I'm going for, I'm building muscle. Okay. I'm nice. better than I've ever been. And I've got the confidence where, and then I'm, I'm going to go to the doctors. I'll get all my labs checked and I'll post that. That'll be fine. That's no big deal. Um, but I, I, I've got the confidence that this works. Cause I, I know what my body feels like. Like Dr. Tony was saying, he likes not feeling his stomach in his gut. Like yeah. and me too. I like not feeling it. And we should... I, I've never not felt it until I, until this happened. I'm to like, oh, that's what, that's what it feels like to not feel it. I always just thought that was the way it was before. So yeah. it's just, yeah, it's like not even there anymore. But uh, yeah, when you're so sick, nobody cares. Nobody says anything like, oh, geez, no. you should stop eating all that food that's inflaming you and causing you to snore and stop breathing at night. And again, like you said, you can't blame them because a lot of people don't know they're they're in the fog right, right now too. But um, yeah, it, it it's crazy. The the CPAP thing, just w one last thing on that that so just blows my mind when I think about it more. Like I was literally 
taking a machine, an apparatus, strapping it to my face. And I didn't want to shave. So I would, I would strap that sucker down so hard. I'd wake up. I just have these big red marks every night, strap that thing down to my face and pump air through my airway. Millions of people are doing this right now and they don't have to. And the only reason I had to do that was because I wanted to eat some sugar and inflammatory garbage food that I didn't even need. That it's was it. It's not worth it. It's, it's, it's not so worth insane. It. It's just so insane that there's millions of people out there doing it right now. And they don't, See, and most of them don't know. They're just like, oh, I'm fat. I got to lose some weight. Yeah. And I think that's the importance of this um, carnivore documentary is to change the minds because uh, my coach was teaching me about a uh, collective minds and they did a, a experiment where they had 300 people go to a high crime area and they had them meditate and pray, just send energy vibrations, right? After those three days of meditating, praying, the crime went down in that area mm. for a month. Okay. Wow. The same thing can happen with the carnivore diet, not crime, but when you have you, some people are like, well, I'm just one voice. I'm just one person. But if we all join together, it's a it's a collective mind. And make that same thing that can happen when we all come together, we do YouTube videos and we keep building this. Then we get the documentary made and we get it out there and boom, it's on that big level. And then it's it's changing people's minds. It's changing the way they eat, the way they feel. And then the, all those other people literally are stepping into the reality we're already in which is feeling good and being on the carnivore diet and when you have more people um join that reality eventually when the netflix is out then you that's how you change the world as we know it and right. make make things beautiful but i'm saying like each one person our one minds together we can have that same collective mind power that that study had that lowered the crime rate we can also um, turn on the light and then raise awareness to a lot of people who are on the CPAP machines, you know, or puking up their food after they eat or whatever they got going on. It's a it's a great way for all of our minds. If we come together, we can raise the consciousness of everybody around us and carries on to it. Or he's an unconscious competent man. Watch this guy, man. He's doing <laughs> it, man. The Netflix. That's how to do it on a bigger level on a uh, with with more minds and then more change. For sure. Yeah. Wow, man, this is great. So Can I say one more thing, bud, quick? Yeah, absolutely. I just, uh, people, we have our five senses. You see, hear, smell, taste, touch, right? But animals have that, okay? And I feel like when the more we use those five senses, that's how I got in trouble. I was going by what smelled good, tastes good, and that's what got me in, in, in trouble, okay? Last thing about my coach, he talked to me about our higher faculties. We have six higher faculties, okay? I just want to give them to you quick. You have your perception, your will, your imagination, your memory, your intuition, and your reason, okay? Now, perception, I'm not going to go through all of them, but when you look at, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. That's why people really need to do their research into the carnivore diet, and then you'll start to see things differently, and things will change for you. But to go back to the second one, the will, at that point when I had the sleep apnea and I couldn't breathe, I had to tap into my higher faculty and not my five senses that got me to the point where I was in trouble. I had to type, ha tap into my willpower and say, I want to still be here and I want to live and I want to help people. And I just want to share that with you guys, that those higher faculties helped me. And I just think that if, if we used our five senses a little less or maybe used our higher six higher faculties as much as we used our five senses, we would do pretty good. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So back to some more carnivore stuff. Yeah. So you've been, what did you say, 44 days? 44 days today. And, and you, you, you mentioned your wife too. So your, your wife's jumped on too? Yeah, she has lost like 17 or 18 pounds. Like in literally, she, it was, she had lost 17 pounds in 17 days. She's on wow. like day 18 or 19 now. I'm not sure what she's at, but when at day 17, she had lost a pound a day. Like it's, it's, a, it's amazing. Like I said, she stopped snoring on the third day. What you know, does it she, look like, uh, like eating wise? What are you guys eating? Cause everyone's a little bit different on carnivore. Yeah. I've seen some people, they're like, oh, well, you can't have hot dogs or whatever. Like we were at a family party and I had ham and hot dogs. You know, I didn't eat the, uh, the bun with it or, you know, nothing else. But yeah, I ate the hot dog. It's just fine. Like, I, people don't need to go out and spend a hundred dollars on steak, man, every night. Like, and th 
you don't even need to go. You can buy cheap steaks elsewhere, but like eat what's around you. Like don't overcomplicate this, man. It's it's really an easy diet, and it frees up a lot of time that you're not like worried about what you're gonna eat. And then plus two, like sometimes it's like a meal time, as people would say, a breakfast, a lunch, or a dinner that we're conditioned to. And I'm not hungry, so if you're not hungry, don't eat. If you're still hungry, eat. Like right. uh, I, uh, I think Doctor um, Chafee was saying that if you're starting to eat, and if starting to eat and it feels like a chore, you're not full no more. You know, if you're if you're hungry and the meat tastes really good, that not, that lets you know you're hungry. So you just gotta uh, tap into what your uh, your body and listen to it. And I've been listening to it like I eggs scrambled eggs work well with me. I eat. Um, Summer sausage for snacks, Wisconsin beef sticks. I get those at Piggly Wiggly. Um, <laughs> I I don't know if overcomplicate it, man. I, I'm just keeping it simple. Like we'll get um, some uh, New York strips, you know, and um, eggs and bacon, ham. I've had uh, bologna. Yeah. I mean, you really don't need to. Uh, you can lose weight on fatty meats. I hate to break it, bust people's bubbles, but I've I went, uh, I started the carnivore at 194, okay, because I wanted to make sure I got rid of my sleep apnea. And then as I losing this weight, now I'm like, wow, not only did I get rid of all my problems, but now I want to uh, get rid of the belly fat. So, yeah, it's amazing what the these fatty meats can do and, and what a simple diet that you don't have to overcomplicate what it will do for you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's funny because... People weren't scared of the stuff they should have been before. Like if you were eating the donuts or whatever, the yeah, that, Doritos. That's normal. The yeah, that's fine. But then when, when they're starting carnival, a lot of people are scared of the hot dogs and the bologna and things like that. Dr. Barry did a great video. And he was basically saying, if I broke it down, it's like, if you can get better than hot dogs and bologna, then do it. If you yeah, can't, yeah. if you can't, it's still probably like, I don't know if he said this, but in my head, it's probably still a hundred times better than all that garbage and inflammatory food you were eating before. Right. So, yep. Yeah. And if there's nothing at the party that's meat, then just fast till you get home. Like you're going to survive. Like, trust me, you'll be just fine. And then yep. eat when you get home. But if there's something like I was at a family party and uh, it was my grandpa's 94th birthday. Can you believe that? Talk wow. about genetics. Nice. And he's he's uh, watching carnivore vid my carnivore videos now, so he's paying attention. But I was at his party, and there was just ham and hot dogs. Uh, as far as meat, there was all sorts of cake and brownies and ice cream. But uh, I just stuck to the ham and the hot dogs, and that goes back to this decision. You have to make those decisions every day. Say no, I'm gonna love myself. I'm gonna stick to this meat. I'm sticking to this carnivore diet, and that's that. So yeah. those decisions. For sure. We, yeah. w just real quick, not to segue, but on the decisions thing, mm -hmm. that's something that I think has really helped me in life. Not just the wise decisions and all that, but I have always made the weird decision that other people wouldn't make. So like when the whole population of the world was out there and they're like, like all my peers, when, when you, you got out and you got your first job, everyone was like buying the nicest house with granite countertops in the nicest neighborhood. I was like, no, we're going to get this dump and we're going to fix it up. Everyone else is getting like right. the newest iPhone they could afford. <clears throat> I'm not judging anyone, but I was always doing the opposite. So I'm like, I'm just going to get this cheap little throwaway phone. And like every decision I've ever made has been that way. It's like whatever's the weirder one it always seems better. And carnivore was ultimately the biggest weird decision I've ever made in my entire life. Because it's like mm -hmm. you said, like everyone says, like, this is crazy. This guy's just going to eat meat only. And look, it turns out just like all of those other decisions, it's the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. Hands yeah, down. Yeah, my coach would say if you follow the crowd, you're not going to be successful. Yeah. But he said if you follow the one or two guys headed the other direction, he says even if you don't think for yourself and follow them, he said you'll probably be more successful than following the crowd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So there's you're you're a natural born leader, and that's why you're being called to go to the other direction because the universe was seeking that expansion and expression through you, Carrie, and they needed you to do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty awesome mm -hmm. so what what that's about why people like, should start their youtube channels because there's other just like you inspired me yeah. there's someone watching here that hasn't started a channel and they're going to because that yes. you're being called to do it the universe wants to expand and express itself and someone's going to be watching you even if it's just people at your work your family like you can be an example and be a leader like carrie is to the people in your life 
It's amazing how it spreads too. I had a, a live stream mm -hmm. earlier today and Bill jumped on, Bill from Alaska, and someone said to him right on the live stream, they're like, Bill, I started my YouTube channel because you had the courage to start your own YouTube channel. And mm -hmm. I said to Bill, I'm like, that, that might seem insignificant to you, but really think about it now. Now that person's doing a YouTube channel and now two more people that watch her channel might start mm -hmm. it. And now it just starts to spread. And I always like that analogy. It's like um, when, I, when I did my 30-day carnivore video, it was like I threw a little rock into the water and it made a little bit of a ripple. And then over there was Dr. Barry and he's just chucking these boulders in the water and the boats are going up and down and he's shaking yeah. things up. But yeah. then it's like that little rock, then, then JT, you saw me throw that rock and you're like, oh, I'm going to throw a rock in too. And then you mm -hmm. threw one in and now uh, Bill's throwing one in and countless other people are throwing them in and it's starting to, it's starting to rock now and people are starting to feel it. So it's, it's something. And that's why I always say about Dr. Barry too, that you can't even measure how many lives that guy saved. Dr. Chafee yeah. too, Dr. Baker, but because that's so what I said to him on the video. I was like, you changed my life forever. I'm off of all of these pills that I always show everybody forever. I'm on no pills anymore. But my wife started carnivore. My mom, my stepdad, my sister, and my brother-in-law are doing it right now, and they're thriving on it. So I'm like, what is that? Like 10 people. Me turns into 10, and then each of them, they're their own individual, and then spreads out. If you it's like a starfish. You cut it up, it's then you got two. You know, you cut it yep. into three, you got three. <laughs> you trace Beautiful. all that back try to, to get like, rid of us. Reverse engineer that back to Dr. Barrett. Imagine how huge that is. It's I know it's, it's crazy. It's, it's you can't, and you that's, can't that's, measure. Like, that's that collective mind, and we're still working on it, and it's getting there. And each one is each one of you is important. That's why I say you're like, Oh, I'm just one person. You're very important. Yeah. Each one of you are God's highest form of creation, man. Or maybe yep. God's image. I mean, do any damn thing you decide to do. Right. And and everyone's different and everyone's story is different. Everyone has a different perspective. I do a carnivore video. JT does a carnivore video and it's on a little bit of a different perspective. And then his audience sees it. It's like, yeah, I, I, that's my biggest advice for everybody. I've been telling them like a lot of people have been emailing me. I want to be in the carnivore diet documentary. I'm like, I'm basically at this point, just like, all right, let me see your YouTube channel. And if, right, if right. you're not comfortable publishing it, just do it unlisted. But mm -hmm. it, you should publish it because you're going to inspire so many people. You keep yourself accountable and then it, I've got to see Bill ride that four wheeler, man. Like that, that's got to be in the doc, the walking yes. out of the door, the getting on the four wheeler, meeting you. Like that's I, it's going to be beautiful, man. And, 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 uh, he was talking about like, Oh, it's been a, you're saying it's been a fast two weeks. Yes. Well, man, the universe loves speed. It likes quick decisions. That's why if you ever go back to buy something you wanted, someone else snagged it. You right. got to make a quick decision. The universe loves speed. And this documentary is going to get made at light speed, especially with you guys in the super chats. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. I, it's crazy. It's been a crazy two weeks with Bill. I, I can't I believe it. It's all booked now and it's confirmed. So Emma That's, and myself. I'm excited are, for you, dude. I cannot wait for both you guys, man. We're heading out there with the Netflix approved camera. Thank you to everyone for the super chats, the stickers, the GoFundMe, because we wouldn't have been able to do it without it. And like I said before, I, I put thousands of dollars of my own money into this. I'm totally invested in this. I can't wait. And that's to your point, the, the four wheeler, he keeps talking about the four wheeler. I'm like, I want to get some shots of that too. Just the broken yeah. down four wheeler. It's sitting there. It's broken down. hasn't been used in years. And yeah, then the, but you know why after. he's going to ride a four wheeler because he knows exactly that he wants to, he knows what he wants. Yep. He, he's attracting everything that he knows what he wants. And everybody can do that. You know, everybody can tap into that bill magic right now. You just right. got to make those decisions to, to, to know what you want, man, you're going to get, and Bill's going to get everything he wants, man. It's, it's it, all coming. He's just got to stay in that energy and you can't help but attract everything in vibration with you. There, there's something with Bill. I, I don't know. I get these feelings sometimes, but I said it before that man is going to inspire millions of people. I hopefully through the carnivore diet documentary, but even if not through YouTube or something, I it's just, there's just something about that guy and he's got a huge heart. He's just such a sweet, nice guy. But mm -hmm. um, I, I just got a, I just got a feeling that it's, it's that's the universe. Be it's trying to expe express itself and expand through Bill. And I hope Bill is hearing me and listens to that because he's he's very important. Everybody is not just Bill. Every single one of us is a Bill, man. We need to 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 change our minds, man, and, and be examples for everybody, man, because we can yeah. all do this. We can get this documentary made and we can make uh, the world healthier. We really can. Right. In, in my earlier analogy, throwing the rocks in the water, Bill is going to mm -hmm. be like the mountain crumbling over into the water. And psh. yeah, it's yep, yeah, it's it's just it splashed everybody then, it just yeah. couldn't help it then for sure. <laughs>
So uh, on the carnivore stuff, like, uh, so you're doing it, your wife's doing it. Yeah. Have you, have you done anything with your kids yet? Uh, my son, I only have one kid. My okay. son, he's one and a half. So oh, okay. um, he still eats just about whatever, but it's funny since I've been on the carnivore, he, whenever he smells me either cooking bacon or cutting up some summer sausage or something, he's like, yo, puts his hand out and he wants some. So nice. uh, he's definitely eating more meat, uh, getting more into meat. That's what I should say. But uh, we give him everything. I, I'm not going to make him do a diet until he's ready to choose that. Right. You know, and I'm definitely going to teach him about sugars and dangers and stuff like that. But I don't want to be one of those parents who um, puts that on a, a young child. But uh, I've had my aunts try it and things, but uh I'm more concerned about people who are willing to take the leap and or people who haven't taken the leap. I, I was writing notes for this. I was calling it a, a live stream lesson. I was writing down in my notes and it put live stream leap and as like an autocorrect. And I was like, ah, that's the universe telling me that this probably this live stream probably will be a leap for someone who's, you know, thinking about it. So I was like, yeah, I just left it live stream leap, you know, and just made my notes anyways. Nice. <laughs> Hey, uh, um, we got a couple. I'm going to just go through these real quick. Got a couple yeah. of super chats. Thank you guys so much. So these are all new members and you can join underneath whoop, whoop. and every penny from that goes to support the documentary. I really helping out. I appreciate it. Carnivore. Too, guys. Too. Don't forget yeah. about your shirts. All um, sorts of colors. And we got new shirts now, too. I can't. I'm going to. Those are good. Did I send you the link yet, JT? Uh, for what? Tomorrow? Uh, no, not yet. But it's I saw coming. myself on the picture, so I assumed it was probably coming. It's, it's coming, yeah. Okay. I, I got a whole bunch. I got another batch. You're busy after guy. This. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I don't want to forget you for sure, though. I uh, tomorrow I'm announcing this. My friend Adam, who's been helping with the documentary, he designed mm -hmm. a new shirt, and it's a okay. big power bowl, and it's just like the coolest graphic of a power bowl, beef butter bacon egg bowl. Em and Ooh. I did that video a while ago, and everyone. I kept saying in the video, power bowl, power bowl, power bowl, but it's a, it's a really cool shirt. So we're going to, we're going to throw that up there tomorrow, but um, yeah, I've man. been telling people to keep it carnivore. So I've, I've been kind of maybe wanting to do a keep it carnivore shirt, you know, Yeah. And any, and I, I haven't yet to get it. Like I have a smaller YouTube. I've only got about like 36,000 subscribers. So I have a much smaller channel than you. So I haven't gotten a super chat yet, but just so anybody on my channel, this is streaming my channel. If anybody's on there and does make a super chat donation, I am monetized. Um, so if they do make a super chat donation to me, I'm going to donate that to Carrie. So, oh man, and then if I don't it. get any super chats, that's just fine to my crowd. I will make a donation myself either way. That's, that's just fine. But I'm just letting people know any that's donation it. I get goes to this documentary so we can turn on the light for everybody. Appreciate that. That's really mm -hmm. nice. Uh, let's see. We got carnivore transformer and then we got a $10. Thank you, Leslie. Whoop, for whoop, your Leslie. Movie. I'm trying to find out about reversing cancer. I missed JT's results. Oh, JT, your so your results. You were you've been doing carnivore for 44 days, and what was your your weight? And and well, the other results too, I guess. Uh, well, my highest weight um, was 254, and I cut out beer and soda, and I lost a bunch of weight. And but I was still having um, sleep apnea and IBS problems, so just cutting out beer and soda and eating like crap didn't help. And then I started carnivore at 194 so I could really get healthy and get rid of the sleep apnea and uh, the IBS symptoms. And I not only did that, but I went from 194 to 175 and I'm feeling good. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I still got belly fat. So now I've actually, since I've been at the same weight all week, I've been doing like you said, I took a little measuring tape I can put around and it snaps in and then I hit the little button and, it, and then it yep. lets me know. So I was like at like 39 and a half inches and then um a couple of days ago and now i'm at 38 even so even though my weight is staying the same uh my belly fat's going down so you guys have to use both you know and right i would suggest actually not using any of it honestly i would suggest the bill method and bill was saying he's so big he can't even use a scale bill that's a blessing in disguise man just get in vibration and start looking at your body when you know you're you're looking smaller and you're able to move around more and you're doing this and that. You don't need a scale to tell you you're doing good. You can, you'll be able to feel it. So I've yeah. actually just kind of started ignoring the scale and just using my, if I do use something, the measuring tape, but I just been trying to get in the bill magic, man. Just right. Getting I wish I would have, I wish I would have done the measurements from, I, I always tell people to do it, but I, I, didn't, I didn't practice what I preached on there. I didn't do it initially started doing it a little bit later, but yeah, if um, you guys haven't started your YouTube channel yet, uh, 
learn from us because I didn't take my fat measurements. I just got a couple fat photos that I looked for. I call them fat photos now. Uh, but I am not dissing on anybody who is fat. Don't get me wrong. Don't, I still, I've always been a fat kid. I still have very chubby cheeks. I'm working on a lot of things. I got, I got flab I'm trying to get rid of. So it's a work in progress. I just want to um, make sure we're getting help to those people who feel, maybe feel hopeless, you know, because that's yeah. how I felt at one point in time. And there's no reason to feel like that. There's a lot of hope out here. And this carnivore community is awesome, man. I'm telling you, like, there are so many positive people out there. It's amazing. Yeah, it's like the best community. I feel bad saying that because, well, I was kind of like you. I was doing the homesteading videos and then I kind of switched to carnivore because I'm like, I'm so passionate about this. It's life changing. It's changing my life. It's changing other people's lives. But the thing is, I still do the homesteading videos every Thursday. It's either about the movie theater or homesteading at mm -hmm. four o'clock. I'm of still in doing family vlogs. I just add in the carnivore now because yep, exactly. I, I feel it's really important to help somebody who needs it. It's just too important. Yep. I had a couple of people say, I miss those homesteading videos. I'm like, I, I've been doing Still one do. every Thursday at four o'clock for years now. Nothing's changed. I'm like, I haven't like missed a homestead video yet. I didn't know you were out of business. That's news to me. Homestead, nice. It says Homestead House live right now. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, we got a bunch of comments. Thank you so much. We got like 200 people on here right now. Wow, that's great. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, so man, tomorrow is going to be crazy. Oh, just real quick for anyone that doesn't marathon. know, ten hours, ten hour live stream right here from the theater. Uh, just a, a quick update. Actually, here let me put. First of all, I wanted to say this: JT is awesome. I, I love what you're Thanks, doing. Buddy. I love your I love your energy, man. We got to do some more videos together. This is fun. Uh, ever anyone that's from my channel that isn't familiar with JT yet, go check out his channel for sure. I got it on the bottom of the screen. And I got it in the description. Um, uh, 99% sure I have it in the description. I'll check after this yeah. and make sure I do. Um, check them out, subscribe. It, it's fun to see some uh, other people doing carnivore and thriving, especially other people from Wisconsin for sure. Yeah, yeah, you can see uh, two crazy guys from Wisconsin. Then, <laughs> yeah, we, we got to get you. We talked about a little bit earlier, we got to get you over to the theater sometime. Yeah, you're, I'm down here in Thiensville, right? So that's just north of northwest of Milwaukee, a little bit. Yep, yep, it's uh, it's a village in Mequon, right? Yes. We, we, we're over in that area quite a bit. Uh, my wife has an aunt that lives, uh, well, not quite that far, but she lives in Menominee Falls. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, not, that's very not cool. Not too far away. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We got to get you out to the theater sometime. Get you out to the oh, homestead. Yeah, my dream, though, would be to see the homestead, my guy. I'm a homestead fan, man. I like, I'm a city boy who loves homesteads. I don't know why. <laughs> you you show up at the theater anytime. I'll take you over to the homestead. No awesome. problem. Best. would love thank to. You, thank you. Yeah, that, that'd be cool. Um, that's so crazy. I, 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 you mentioned that before, but I didn't really click with me that you started watching the homesteading. I, I was thinking mm -hmm. in my head when we we're doing this call that you saw the, the carnivore video, you started carnivore, but no, no you were no. like doing, doing the homestead thing. I've been a homestead. I'm, I don't, like I said, you, your show was my show on YouTube. And then when I had the TV on, it was homestead rescue. Yeah. I like that show too. That's a good show. I love that. Show. And that guy, uh, just to bring up Marty, you know, he's such a positive guy, good energy. You know what he says the magic to his family is? Forgitude. And huh. it's it, that's forging ahead with a positive attitude. And I think oh, we should nice. all do that. We should all have some forgitude. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think I actually uh, applied to be on that show a couple of yeah? years ago or something. Yeah. What do you I, I need rescuing for? You know what you're doing. Hey, I, that's the thing on my channel. So I, I there's a couple of things like building projects. I'm pretty good at that stuff. Mm -hmm. Gardening, which is a good thing. I'm meant to be a carnivore. We failed at our... <laughs> Our homestead garden, we failed at that thing for years. Really? I did a little rant on that before, too, because I'm like, everyone's saying meat's not natural. You're eating meat. You're going to kill the environment. But using my own two eyes, in my own property, we tried to grow just like some cauliflower and broccoli in the ground. Shouldn't mm -hmm. be that hard, should it? It's no. really hard. The soil is like dead. Dr. Chafee was talking about this. He's like, they, they all the nutrients are out of the soil. It's almost like the dust bowl now. And then you got to put, you got to turn the soil over. You got to put a bunch of fertilizers and chemicals. It's almost in like it. the universe is telling you that you just maybe shouldn't need to grow it anyway. It's weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what was happening because <laughs> yeah, man. we never really got much. <laughs> Got a couple tomatoes here or there, but nothing, nothing worth the effort for sure. I got my carnivore hat on too. This is the oh, that's cool cow right here, man. <laughs> it's it's my carnivore. It's a it's a, just a cow hat with my logo on it. Right, nice. So you're you're just thriving on carnivore now. What what's your plans going forward? Are you carnivore for life now, or 
Yeah, honestly, and it's not that hard. Like, um, I, I've lost all cravings for junk, my guy. I just, it has no appeal to me. It has no appeal. And some might say, well, that sounds boring. Mm-mm. I'm in like a state of bliss, man. Like, I feel good and I'm not anxious. Any, like, you, when you're out of the fog, man, you lose all that worriedness and anxiousness and you're just calm, cool, calm and collected, man. And because you feel good and you got the confidence from knowing knowing that this works and knowing you did the research, you know, like I, I did it reverse. I jumped on it and then re- researched as I went along. <laughs> right. I don't suggest that, but that was, I, like I said, I told you earlier, I ate a lot of meats anyway. So I was like, dude, if I can eat bacon and eggs, I'm in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, um, oh, what was I going to say? I had a good thought. Now I forgot what it was. Carnivores don't forget. Oh, well, <laughs> So, oh, that's what waiting. it was. So you you said um, you, you're stalling out a little bit. Yep. And, but you're gaining muscle, so maybe you're not necessarily stalling out. Um, have Still you... losing the belly fat with the measurement. So, like, as it might have stayed 175 all week, but I went down like an inch and a half in belly fat. Nice. And I wasn't even measuring all week. I started, like, halfway through the week. I always say this to people. If you do stall and you're, like, stuck for a really long time mm-hmm. – I've heard so many people say this, and it was the case for me. It was going up one notch and doing the lion diet. And okay. again, people are like, oh, that's just so restrictive. There's no way. But if you're doing carnivore, it's not even hard to just go from carnivore to that. It can be tricky because it can be more expensive to just get the beef all the time. But I'll tell you what, as soon as I as soon as I went lion, psh, I was stuck only, for a while. I the was only tough thing for me on lion is getting rid of my bacon. Like, yeah, that's that was, to me like that's the one thing on carnivore. I'm like, that's like my that might as well be like my sweet treat. Like, yes, that, <laughs> that's the hardest thing for me. And the, the thing that makes it even harder is my daughter, Emma. She's doing carnivore. I've seen like she crazy. can cook, man. Though She cooks bacon and eggs. It makes me hungry. And that's not even breakfast time. I'm like, man. And that's her go to is the bacon. Bacon and eggs. And, oh, man. It's it delicious. smells so good. I almost I mean, I could just have it. It doesn't even bother me. But I'm like, ah, I'm doing this now. I'm almost at day 50. So. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do lion forever, but we'll, we'll see. I've had people suggest that maybe I should up my workouts or if I'm doing workouts, like up the intensity, you know? And I said, well, maybe I could try that, you know, cause it's hard for me to give up that bacon. Yeah. But always, that's the only thing with lion. If I could do it with bacon, <laughs> that'd be awesome. But otherwise, well, the other thing too, is you could just, uh, and I'm not suggesting this cause you're doing fine, but just other people mm-hmm. out there that are stalling out for a couple of weeks. Yeah. You could always just do lions. Say, I'm just going to do it for three days. And maybe that yep. kick starts your system or something. Cause everyone, myself included, it was just like so instant. Like I just stopped eating like bacon and eggs for one day and psh, it, the weight just started coming off again. It was really, really, really kind of yeah. a crazy thing. I always tell people this. It's like, um, it's like keto. You're the white belt. Carnivores like the brown belt. And then <laughs> lion, lions like the black belt. It's black like belt. The, the extreme one, but it, a lot of people just do lion because they they have autoimmune issues or skin issues mm-hmm. or something. I'm just doing it because I'm, again, I always make that weird decision. And I, I did that video with Dante from Frigno Freedom, who, by the way, is probably going to be on the live stream tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I was just emailing him. Ooh, ooh. Very busy man. But he's the first one that I saw uh, that that was like, I was like, what the heck is this carnivore thing? This guy, what? that's the same guy? That's him? That's what got me fired oh, what up. A tra- he looks like a different person. Yeah, totally. And not I mean, just his body, of course, but his your demeanor. other guy too. He, uh, you, you keep showing his picture, and I swear to God, uh, the, he's got the photo uh, glasses on in the photo, and he looks like forty years younger. Yeah, I swear oh. that guy looks like he hopped in a time machine yeah. and brought back his younger self, and was like, "Here, take the picture." Like he I, looks amazing, dude. I show this picture yes, pretty yes. much to everyone now. I, I, I said, get over that photo, my guy. I even showed it to my wife. I was like, "You think that's his son?" She's like, "Yeah." I was like, "No, that's him." That's uh, he's That's gonna him. be on. He's gonna be on the live stream tomorrow. Alex Carnivore for Life. He's he started a new YouTube channel. I he subscribed scared, to his channel yesterday to do or it, the day before. For anyone that doesn't know, leave a little guess down there. How old the man on the right is? It's just mind blowing. I'll, yeah, I'll just dude. I'll tell you guys right now. Sixty five years old. That honestly, that the guy on the left looks like his dad. Yeah. Honestly, the, the coolest thing with this was what Doctor Ch- or Doctor Barry said. I showed this to Doctor Barry. Alex was just overjoyed too. He's like, oh, Dr. Barry saw my picture. He was so happy. But <laughs> what Dr. Barry said, because I said, look at this, Dr. Barry. He reversed aging with carnivore diet. Everyone mm-hmm. says that. You look 20 years younger on carnivore. You look 10 years younger. Everyone does. You do. I do. 
it, yeah, it, I thought it, that was his, at first. I was like, no, that can't. That's got to be his son. No, nope. because at first glance, I was like, no way, no way. Yes, what Doctor Barry said though was, there's he dropped some wisdom on me. He was like, no, he he didn't reverse age twenty years. He said, Carrie, this is what a normal sixty five year old should, should look, look like, like if they were eating the proper human Carrie, diet. You just. <sighs> That's Dr. Barry. Give credit where yeah. due, Dr. Okay. Barry. And yeah. He said that too to me. I I did the same thing. I was like, oh man, you're right. And then you start thinking of all the 65 year olds turning the up. light on. It. That's awareness. They, I like it. They look like this guy. And then Dr. Chafee, he blew my mind even more than Dr. Barry because Dr. Chafee, that he guy looks is like so he's smart. in the gym every day. Dr. Chafee, he looks yeah. like he does. He's not a a doctor. He looks like he's he's in just, next. He's not human. Okay. He's he's <laughs> on say a, that again. I, I say, I'm saying this, but I, I'm I'm somewhat serious. He's like a next level human. His mind, uh, his energy. He's doing neurosurgery for 18 hours a day, and he does more YouTube than me. And I didn't think anybody could. I'm, I'm this is like <laughs> third live stream. He, he's just always going. But there were some. I, we did that video uh, arguing Dr. Chafee questioning mm -hmm. carnivore diet. Where I was trying to stump him up, and he gave me this one answer. It was like 25 minutes long. Perfect. Beautiful answer, citing studies and science. And he's like, check this out and this and so and so. And, this. and it's just all, none of those questions I gave him ahead of time. And this is after working 18 hours on neurosurgery. And we did that live stream. It was three o'clock in the morning, his time. So at two o'clock in the morning, he's answering these and questions just like a, sharp as a, a razor, man. Not one slip up or mistake or anything. It's see, and that should boost everybody. Like, hey, yes. I want to tap into that. You and know, now, let's go with this, JT. So. When I had my CPAP machine, when I mm -hmm. had so many of these pills prescribed to me, oftentimes like uh, the IBS pills, the, the guy's telling me, oh, well, you just got to eat in moderation. You'll be fine. But the guy that's telling me it, I'm not fat shaming. I'm just observing. Not healthy. Metabolically, his no. metabolism, not good. The guy was overweight. Using my own two eyes and common sense, it's like, okay, look at Dr. Chafee. And look at the results he's getting. Look at Dr. Barry. Look at Dr. Baker. Dr. Baker looks like a superhero from a movie or something. Mm -hmm. The guy doesn't even look real. He looks like one of those Incredibles or something. He's just so huge. Yeah, it's literally like the saying, you don't go to a sick doctor to get healthy. You know? Yes. Like, and we were talking earlier, you go to someone who's doing and getting the results you want, and you do exactly what they say. So if that yep. guy ain't got the results you want, I wouldn't listen to him. You know, if Chafee's right? got what the results you want, then listen to Dr. Chafee. It's all in what you want. You're your own genie. You got unlimited wishes. Yeah. I think Dr. Barry used the analogy too. You wouldn't take your car to a mechanic and he's got like 25 broken down cars outside and he's riding the bus to work every single day. You, you yeah, take him to the yeah. guy that's got the best looking car and he's, he knows what mm -hmm. he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. You're going yeah, to, uh, you're going to get with birds of a feather flock together. So, right. Yeah. So tomorrow, uh, just a quick update on the tomorrow thing. I'm doing a 10 hour live stream. JT, I hope you can jump in at some oh, point I, in the 10 hours. It, I it's picked gonna, one of the later spots. You can come whenever you want, my friend, okay. but I appreciate it. I, I put some ranges on there, mm -hmm. which is nice because I got kind of a rough idea. But it's going to be spontaneous or chaotic. I don't know what the right it's word is. It's going to be carnage. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Chafee, he's traveling, but he's like, I think I'm going to be able to jump on for a little bit. And now yeah, Dante. Just get the link and use his phone. Off yeah. the email, just hit the that's, link that's, on StreamYard. That's, that's what he's hoping to. So you, you guys watching this, you may be watching. And then uh, I've also invited Dr. Barry, Dr. Baker, and uh, Dr. Baker's team got back to me and they said they sent him the message. So he has the link. I don't know if he's going to show up or not. He's a very busy man. I would Fingers be amazed crossed. if he did. But you, you could jump on, JT, you could jump on yourself. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Barry, Dr. Baker, Dr. Chafee, Dr. Kiltz, and Dr. Hampton. In the perfect world, it's not very likely. It's like winning a lottery ticket, but they could all be just sitting in there. Like that's amazing. There's, there's no rules to this thing. Yeah, and that's amazing. And, and we're telling you, we're so lucky to have them want to be involved in this this community, especially this documentary, man. Like if whatever advice you know we could get from them, or you know whatever they can do, we're eternally grateful for those minds. Because like you said, you can give them any question, and they just they're ready. They fire it off, and yeah. it's so valuable for us guys who just do it but don't know any of the details like i don't yeah. i don't have all the health details they have i just 
I just yeah. know that I'm I'm just eating a certain diet and getting certain results. Yeah, and they speak to it so good. That's why I'm so excited mm -hmm. about the documentary too, because we're gonna have these real examples from people like Bill and other people, but then have the doctors in there with the science and the facts. Because people are gonna be like, yeah, but that's just one guy. But no, now Do you, you remember the documentary Super Size Me? Yes. With the McDonald's, and yep. he ate it like for like a month, and yep. that to me, like I, that really like that didn't change everything in a big way, but like we still got rid of the extra super size. It got rid of all that, but this could be on that level, but even bigger in my opinion, because this has actually changed people. Cause that was just like, well, this will, this is what happens. You eat McDonald's, but they didn't give us anything like the carnivore. Well, then what do I do then? If not that, so that's why I think this is going to be bigger. This is actually giving people a solution instead of just saying, well, yep, that's no good. Well, yeah, no, no crap. But like what will help me? It's so and funny you mentioned. Like it's so funny you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. We're on the same wavelength here. This is kind of crazy. So the Fathead movie, yes, I've seen it. I know exactly what you're saying. What I don't think I would be here right now if not for the Fathead movie. Now this is some twisted yeah. logic, but let me just follow me here for a second. So um, a lot of people that start carnivore, they've done keto before. That was my case mm -hmm. too. I've done keto on and off for years. You, you. you you probably didn't notice because you watched my YouTube videos and like my girls, I just showed one of my girls here. I got all my pictures right here from the other day. I showed one of my girls this picture. And this was just, this was on the homestead when I built the yeah. wall tent platform. That was me at uh, 260 pounds. And uh, the, one, Alyssa, my daughter was like, Oh it's like my a God. shell of yourself, man. I tell you, like even you're just, you vibrate and radiate. You're like, you glow now, man, compared to that. But, but my daughter, Alyssa, was like, you were so fat. I don't remember you being that fat, Dad. I don't care. I don't have – I'm a carnivore. I don't have any feelings. But uh, and plus, I'm not there anymore, so it's kind of nice. But it's true, though, because she's with me every day, even on the YouTube thing. So I've gone back on some of the YouTube videos. You'll just see my weight going up and down. And this was keto. This was before keto. And then I did keto. And then I gained it back. Why? Because I didn't get rid of that sugar, and I didn't moderate. But mm -hmm. the point of my story is you mentioned fathead. I don't think I would be here talking to you right now if it wasn't for fathead. I saw that documentary and uh, that didn't really change anything for me. But then this other guy came up with a documentary and it was called, or I'm sorry, I keep saying fathead. Uh, Super Size Me. me. Super Size Me. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Super <laughs> yeah, right. Size Me led to a documentary called Fathead. And a lot of people haven't heard of it. If you guys heard of it in the comments. Yeah, I've heard of Super Size, but never heard of Fathead. So Fathead was this guy, Tom Naughton, talking about ketogenic diet. And he was basically, it was like a rebuttal to uh, supersize me. Okay. He wasn't, he, he was, he was basically saying what you just said, JT. It was like, yeah, you shouldn't eat a bunch of McDonald's, but you could just use your brain and eat ketogenic and eat meat and get rid of the carbs and all of this crap. And he went into all of the science and a lot of stuff that Dr. Barry and Dr. Chafee do. But this was, let me see if there's a year on this thing. Uh, 2009, 2009. Yeah. So this was when I first learned about ketogenic diet was through this documentary, which was okay. in response to supersize me. And that was the reason I, when I first was thinking about doing this, I was like, we need a documentary because that's what I found. I didn't find someone on YouTube to learn about keto. I saw this documentary. It was on Netflix or something like that. And there's so many more people on Netflix that just don't happen to be on YouTube. So Anyways, long story short, it's kind of funny you mentioned supersize me because supersize me led to that's fat what pops in my head. I'm like, dude, this could this could have that type of impact for people. It really opens people's minds, like wow. Like, and it's like that you see that guy go through a month of just eating and then puking his food up and getting bad medical results. Like it's hilarious. Yeah. Not it's not hilarious, but it's I mean, he's self-inflicting. It's McDonald's. We all know that. Yeah, it's eye-opening. Hey, mm -hmm. and if anyone hasn't seen that, yourself included, if you're ever bored. That thing, uh, it's called Fathead. Fathead. It's on YouTube. It's for free. I don't highly recommend it because it's from 2009, so some of the stuff has changed. But there's some really good stuff in there. It's a great documentary. It's like <laughs> the guy did it himself too. So that was what's kind of inspiring me. And you can oh, okay. see like the quality isn't great, but the message is great. And all of the science in there, he talks about how why, – why does everyone think meat's going to kill you? Why do we all think LDL and you're going to have a heart attack It's going to clog your arteries? All of that stuff is debunked in there, and it really opened my eyes about uh, – Keto. And I started keto. I actually lost a bunch of weight after watching that documentary. Okay. But I never got the sugar away. And I started. Yeah, sugar is not your friend, back. man. It is, no. it is nobody's friend, man. Anything that's going to give you diabetes or rot your teeth, man. It's a drug. Don't eat it.
Michelle, YouTube member, thank you so much. Tim, $2 super sticker. Appreciate it. Lady Shane, new member, thank you. Whoop, whoop. Anki Ruda, thank you so much. And then we got Ruda. one more. Bella Brett for you. Carrie and Emma, remember tomorrow. Carnivores, don't forget to hit record for those of us who can't join at 5 a.m. Replay crew, love you all. Yes. Actually, yeah, every watch the replay. All the all the live streams. Watch the replay yep. and then share it. Share it. Share it. Share it with family members, friends, Instagram, Please. Twitter. Yeah, that's my biggest thing. Is for anyone tomorrow, if you could, if I could ask one thing. Please share that. And the reason being is, um, I, I mentioned this earlier, but some people might not have known. Every penny we're raising is going to the documentary. I said that already. But this is a crazy thing. There's this one guy. He's so generous. He emailed me yesterday. And it's, just, it's just been a crazy week. This is what he said in a nutshell. I'll get to the point. Carrie, whatever money you raise during your 10 hours, only during the 10 hours, I will match dollar for dollar up to $10,000. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's just amazing. Great. Just amazing. So Yeah, you don't even have to know how everything's going to come together. You just have to know what you want. Yeah. And then just let let go and, and, and watch the magic happen. God will work in your favor and, and it will conspire on your behalf. And he already is, my guy. Yeah. It's beautiful. So anyone that donates 10 bucks tomorrow, you're actually donating $20, which is just amazing. And, and shout out to whoever that is, man. God, yeah. God bless you. And he and wants God to bless remain anybody anonymous. Who is donating too. It's yep. it helps. He, he, I was gonna, I was gonna put him on the thumbnail and call him up. He's like, nope. I just want to remain anonymous. So he's a good dude, and he's he's a carnivore too, by the way. Yeah. So he's watched a couple of the videos. And he's like, carnivores You're fired up. I'm fired up. Let's do they're this. Compassionate thing, so. towards animals and people. I honestly yeah. believe that. That's why I really like this community. So, absolutely. Beautiful. Let's see here. We got a couple of comments. Maybe we could go through. Uh, my snoring yeah. and sleep apnea is stopped on keto. And yes, it seems like wheat and peanuts are what cause mine and the peanuts. The peanut oil is in processed foods, especially bread products. Yeah. Peanut. You don't yeah. even have to eat peanuts. Like if you touch something that had peanuts, you could still get allergic reaction to it. Like that's how much we are susceptible to soaking up things in our environment, even bad things. Yeah. So you got to be, you soak up everything. And that's why you got to like absorb good information. Because even, even food around you, you touch something, you absorb that too. Yeah. It's just so crazy to me. Dr. Chafee was saying this too, that we're the only animals, we're the only species that is literally poisoning ourselves. We're supposed to be mm -hmm. the smartest species, but we are no other animal is doing this and getting the sleep apnea and the depression and the anxiety. You don't see a deer in the wild with its hair falling out and its belly hanging over. We're the only ones that do it. It's just in retrospect, it's like, what are we doing? This is just nuts. My coach Peanut would say uh, animals were born with instinct. We, we have intuition. So we just need to tap into our higher faculties and get off those senses, you know, what tastes good and, and smells good and all that stuff. It's, it was comfort that boiled the frog. I mean, it's comfortable yeah. eating all that junk, but it ain't going to get you what you want. Let's see. We got some comments here. Tam6 says, my meat, there's a guy in those low-carb movies. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. He kind of looks like John Kerry. I think his name is Greg. I'm not familiar with that one. I don't know. I'll have to check Maybe it out. Some... Yeah. Wow, look at this one. These ones always just, they always get me. So inspirational. 125. 125 pounds on keto. But then came COVID and the isolation. I gained half of it back, but also lots of orthopedic issues. Just had three surgeries and now back on the keto carnivore bus. Yeah, don't give up. Just just hop right back on and get right back where you're at. You can you have got it. results. You got it. And the, the fact that you've already lost 125 is amazing. You know what to do and you know it works. And it sounds like you've gained an awareness just from what you said that what you did wrong. So it's, I think you're going to be just fine. Fathead is great. This is yep. uh, this is Carrie. Get Fathead out. They're saying it's good. This is Carrie was on the live stream last night. Awesome. She's going to be here tomorrow. The, the best name, JT. Look at this name. My metamorphosis. I metamorphosis. Love I love it, man. Awesome. I didn't even catch that at first. Like I didn't catch uh, Daisy on the top of the the scene, the carnivore, the the thumbnail. Right. Little, you were like, uh, like where's Waldo? Waldo? I was like, I didn't even know that little sweet cat was there. Tam sticks out too. Wow, I I mentioned this before. I didn't know. I thought I was the only one. Bunch of people seen Fathead. Yeah, it was a really good one. Um, and then the guy that, that did it, Tom Naughton. I followed him for a while. I don't know. I wonder what he's up to these days. Because I've been thinking about reaching out to him. 
I should. I should stop thinking about it. I'll just make a note here. Well, that's just... the universe trying to, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like... Express. If you have a desire to do something, the universe is yanking that string for a reason. You got to listen to it. Right. And like we were saying earlier, you got to go to the experts. If you want, if you want to be successful, go. this guy was successful. He made a great documentary. Yep. He did it by himself. I'm pretty sure he did most of that himself, which is just amazing. Yeah. And that shows you guys with the power of what you could do. Like we can all do great things. We're God's highest form of creation. You can do anything you decide to do. You just got to decide you're the captain of the ship first. Yeah. And JT question. Are you? Yeah, sure. I totally agree with your statement there. The thing that expands it for me, though, is I seem like I'm getting so much more done on carnivore with mm -hmm. the carnivore brain and the carnivore energy. I try not to overhype it, but it's just it's true. People it's are like, oh, hype, you're, you're doing true. another live stream. You're doing this. You're doing that. Tomorrow I'm doing the 10 hour thing. Then I'm going to work at the movie theater. Then I'm going to go home. And I'm going to edit some YouTube videos. I'm going to be fine. It never would have happened before. So yeah, I, I used to man when I didn't feel good. Even at not 194, you would some people would say, "Well, that's a great weight." Yeah, but not if you feel like crap and you're eating like crap. And yeah. I, I, uh, I would just like cut grass or something. I'm like, "Oh, I'm, I'm poop for the night. I'm gonna take a shower and I'm done." Now I'm out there cutting grass, pulling weeds, trimming trees. I, I get done. I take a shower. I'm like, man, I'm pacing. I'm like, I'm gonna pump some weights. Like I'm thinking nice. of a YouTube video. Like I'm in the same thing. I have, I, I have never had this much energy. And it's great when you've got a one and a half year old. Because now I can keep up with the little yeah, dude. That's so and cool. Before he was running circles around me, and now I'm doing circles around him. You're you're living life like you're intended to. It's just mm -hmm. crazy. Yes, yes, yep. I was, we I was all should same live life. life like we're supposed to. Yeah. It's it, I I don't have any regrets because I can't change the past. But when I think about it, I'm like, man, it's so sad. All those years. I'm sitting there on the couch because I'm so fatigued and I'm so tired and I'm not getting anything done. Now with this, like I'm meeting people. We're making connections. I got a mm -hmm. new friend now, JT. I got every day. It's like new friends, new people, new networking. And just See, getting up in the morning and seeing the sun and the birds and stuff. I, I just took that all for granted for so many years. It's, a, it's amazing. Me too. Stuff. Me too. You take life itself for granted, this mm -hmm. whole experience and everything that's involved. I don't care if it's the trees the beautiful flowers, our beautiful family, our beautiful friends. We need to just accept that life itself is beautiful. And then you you want to be here and get this experience. And then you're just going to say, man, now I'm eating better. I'm feeling better. And I see what those two crazy guys were saying because I'm in that new reality too. Yeah. It sounds weird, but it's, a, it's just leaving the fog. Honestly, it's just a, a mental clarity. It's not like a new. But when you have all these people that are feeling better, man, they can join us too. Like, right. Uh, make every, this the live stream leap yeah you know? it's like uh every second you're alive you should be thankful I, I'm, I'm more conscious of things like that i this could be it this could be my last day it could be my last week could be yeah but you never know i was just floating through and now i'm appreciating it more and in the moment more for sure oh you want to know one other thing real quick yeah sorry i can go on forever about this but this is my mm -hmm. latest carnivore epiphany it happened about a week ago my default resting face now smiling and this is no joke or exaggeration. Before this, I, I used to grind my teeth at night, every single night. And during the day, I never really noticed this until it kind of – every now and then I would consciously notice I'm doing it. But I would always be gritting my jaw down. like Ugh. It was like tension or anxiety was like held there. I think mm -hmm. a lot of people do that. They hold it and then they get that TMJ thing or whatever. I don't know, but – gone on carnivore too it's it switched to just a smile and a relaxing it's kind of like the stomach it's one of those things you, you're always walking around with the ibs and the stomach pain you don't know what mm -hmm. it feels like like dr hampton said until that's gone you feel so light you just feel normal it's kind of the same thing with my face now too that was that was pretty cool it's mind opening when you uh we could say it all day when you finally get out of that fog and you're just you're feeling better you got this new energy you're not snoring yeah you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel like you've never felt before it's liberating it really yeah, is. It sure is. You're going to feel like you never felt and like you never even knew you could feel before. Yeah, like you were saying, on day 100, you feel superhuman. I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm it, looking it, forward to feeling superhuman. Dr. Chafee told me that. I was like, yeah, he's exaggerating a little bit. He was not. It just gets better and better. The mood gets better. The smile comes out. It's just energy keeps increasing. Yeah, it gets better. Everything, in, my coach was saying, too, everything's vibrations and frequencies, and there's really no – a level to which you can stop you know uh, it's like when you climb one mountain and you get to the top you're going to see another one that's even bigger and higher and you say ah i'm going to climb that one and yeah. 
I just wanted to say one thing quick. You can be dissatisfied, but that doesn't mean you're ungrateful. So I, Thomas Edison, he gave us the light bulb, right? But he was dissatisfied with the candle. That's how he got the light bulb. Mm. He was probably very grateful for the candle because it helped him see and write his inventions at night. But I bet you one night it tipped over and burnt up all his stuff. And he said, there's got to be something better. He was dissatisfied. So just because you're dissatisfied with your results right now doesn't mean you're not grateful. Um, and, you know, when you get to one top of one mountain and you want to go to the next one, there's nothing wrong with that. That there's something in us. Like I wanted to get rid of the sleep apnea. Then when I got rid of that and the IBS, then I wanted to get rid of the belly fat. There's always going to be something in out there for us to keep reaching higher and higher. And after you do the carnivore uh, documentary, there's going to be something even higher after that for you. You you've just got to get that in your mind and, and, and go for it. But there's no end to the frequency, which we can go, you know, like ice is water at low frequency. And then you raise it, turns to water, raise it again, turns to gas. You raise it again, turns to vapor. I mean, it's beautiful, the levels of vibration. And you just never, you never stop. Yep. Even on carnivore, it's the same thing. It's nothing to do with, it's, it's natural law and carnivore. But it's when you finally feel good enough to do all these things, you're now you've got the energy to pursue a, a documentary like you probably never had before. Like not only did you not have the idea, you probably never had the energy. Now you got oh, both. For sure. It's yeah. beautiful what you've tapped into. It's unlimited. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that movie Limitless. I keep going to the movie references, but yeah. It's I'm crazy. a movie guy. I've I've seen so many movies, man. That's why I was I, I, I try to put movie clips and stuff in my I love it. Yeah. Oh man, we gotta have you out to the theater for sure. I could talk. Oh, we yeah, could, yeah. Do another we should just do a movie live stream. I, I'm so passionate about Carnivore, but man, like I Mystery love Science it. Theater uh three thousand. You ever see that where they kind of oh, yeah. sat in front of the screen and they're like, Oh look at it. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. We could actually fun. do that right in front of the screen too. That's yeah, actually... I know you've got the screen, man. I saw you playing Mario on there. Yep. Awesome. Tomorrow the live stream. Uh, I'm thinking of putting it on the screen. We'll see. I'm, gonna, but we're going to be sitting up there instead of down here, so that'll be kind of exciting. We'll have a little bit more room to work, work and. Yeah, so if you ever did, did a big one again, you can always like invite people to the theater and then you know have the big doctors on there or something. Yes, I was thinking even screen. too, like when you finally get. The official trailer, we sh we should have it like debuted at the theater. Yeah, first, well, and then it obviously you can show it after. But I, I just you're gonna obviously have a trailer before that, you know, like a smaller yeah. one. But when you have that official trailer, whoo, yeah, for cannot sure. wait. Yeah, and then well, you mentioned earlier, but my friend, um, the guy that I consulted with for the movie theater, mm -hmm. he's in Watertown. If you're ever in Watertown too, it's an awesome theater. It's called the Town Theater nicest guy in the world he helped me so much we were talking about this a little bit earlier effective partnerships mm -hmm. and i was scared to talk to him but i got over that fear it was the best that's decision a terror I've ever barrier. Made. that's a, that's called the terror barrier yeah and it's so you foolish break through it. I, and i luckily i did because i'm i'm like best friends with this guy now i had him out to the theater a while ago for his birthday he, he was mm -hmm. watching movies up there he's helped me immensely i'm trying to help him all i can um, but he, he messaged me the other day. He said, Carrie, I'm so excited for you for this carnivore diet movie. He said, you know, you're, it's not going to just uh, premiere at Montella theater. Right. I'm like, huh? He's like, we're playing it. We're going to play it at the town theater in Watertown too. We're going to have the double. I was like, oh, that's so cool. So, yeah. And like, we should call up some drive-ins, man. See if any, anybody who's willing to play it, play this man. Like we got to get it out there. Like Dr. Barry is, says, you, you can't shut up. You can't be silent. Especially yeah. when you get the. The final product, that's when you got to be your loudest. Right. We actually still have a drive-in not too far away in the Dells. Really? I, Maybe that'll be your next project. Yeah, there's like, like one or two left in the state. I think that's one of the only ones that's left. What, but... I, I love drive-ins. I wish there was more. I would go to them. They're just nobody believes in them anymore. Yeah. Tam Six said she lost 111 in a year, lost 120, and made the goal and have maintained. Congratulations. Good that job, is amazing. Tam Six. Man, when people say that when it's 100, I just always get fired up because imagine lifting 100 pounds right now and then carrying it around person. your entire life. It's a whole other person. Donna Peters, Carrie, you need to get Dr. Chaffee's gorgeous girlfriend, Ella Marie, Mary, I'm probably saying that wrong, on your channel. She's a self-made businesswoman and a carnivore. I saw he did a video with her. That'd be awesome. Hey, I'm open to that. I'm open to anything. Um, we need I'm more a, lady women carnivore voices. We do because yes, the ladies sure. got to help us out. We, we need that representation. And I have reached out to other ones too. I've reached out to Lily Kane. 
Um, but a lot of them are really busy. And Kelly Hogan got back to me. I was I invited her tomorrow, but she's on vacation. That would have been awesome. Um, but we got some we got some surprises coming up tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, uh, Karen said Dr. Barry is speaking in Orlando this weekend. Yeah, I heard that big thing going on down there. Yeah, it's it's gonna be tough to get him, but hey, I I wonder if that's where Dr. Chafee's going too, probably. Uh, but Dr. Chafee was like, Oh, maybe I'll jump on, on my phone or something like that. Here we go. Yeah, they're uh, good guys. I wouldn't doubt it if they try. They're good guys. Someone said, either you're using pancake makeup like the celebs do or your lifestyle has seriously healed your facial skin. You have the skin of a 30-year-old now, not an old bitch. Thank you. Full disclosure, oh, though. Go. Full disclosure. This is all real right now. I still have some bags here. And in the morning, someone I did a video at 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. At 4 o'clock in the morning, these are much more pronounced. I think it's because I'm dehydrated. I get up at 4.30 in the morning. I go outside. I exercise. And I don't drink any water. I'm just completely fast. I don't do it on purpose. I'm just not thirsty. But I did a video and I look bad. But uh, quick disclosure, because I'm all about transparency and honesty. Like the last two videos I did, people are like, oh, it looks like you have makeup on. It was a setting in this StreamYard thing. <laughs> it was like touch up. I, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't know it was. I did out. see that setting. I did. I just I was like, I don't know what that would. It's not on now. So this is, I this is it all and real. It didn't change anything for me. But if you guys are thinking it's makeup, you can ask. Maybe it's Maybelline or maybe right. it's Carnivore. Right. I'm pretty it's sure it's Carnivore. It's definitely part of it. Yeah, that was one of the things I noticed early because I had those big bags, but I still get them. I think part of it's nutrition and part of it's just being dehydrated. Someone's asking, uh, what is the lion diet? Um, so the lion diet is just beef, salt, and water. And it sounds really crazy to a lot of people, but most people are doing it not just to lose weight. Carnivore is pretty much great for something like that. Uh, most people do lion for other reasons, like they have autoimmune disorders or skin issues, uh, arthritis or things like that. They're just trying to eliminate everything. Uh, mm -hmm. Michaela, if you want to learn more about it, the best person is to check out is Michaela Peterson. Uh, she's Jordan Peterson's daughter and she's the one that convinced Jordan Peterson to go on it. So he, or Jordan Peterson himself, but you can see the reasons why someone would do lion diet. She had, uh, oh man, she had joints replaced, horrible arthritis. That poor girl, when she was a younger a uh, person had a lot of health issues and lion diet cured all of it for her. She's got some amazing videos about it. That was one of the reasons I wanted to start uh, carnivore and lion diet too, was for my daughter because uh, Michaela's story really resonated with me. She's about the same age as my daughter when she had a lot of her issues. Yeah, it, Age uh, doesn't really matter. If you're not making good decisions, man, it, the universe will deliver exactly what you're asking for. And if it isn't good, the results won't be good. So, Gotta yeah, choose good things to put in our bodies. Ooh, set, uh, nice one. It's yeah, a, I'm not. That's a, from a different country, so I'm not sure. But I appreciate whatever it is. Thank you. Oh, okay. From Cape Town, South Africa. Diagn I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Doctor Chafee. This one diagnosed with cutaneous sarcoid sarcoidosis. Cutaneous sarcoidosis. I, I'm, I'm messing it up big time. I will go carnivore and document the journey for your content. Hopefully, all will go well, and I'm curious. Yes, awesome. please. Please document because there's probably other people suffering the same thing and they want to know what your results are so you can encourage them and be the leader for that those people with that, that those issues. That's yes, great. absolutely. Especially with something kind of unusual like that that people haven't heard of. You're going to be the go-to for that. Yeah, somebody's and looking for that. They're, they're, they're hungry for that, that answer. So hopefully you can provide it for them with your results. We'll see what happens, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Rod Camp said fasting helps over time with saggy skin. Not totally, but it actually does make a significant. Yeah, I've, I've heard, heard that, that too. That's one of the other reasons I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to just like on the lion diet. I'm been so 50 50 because I really want the bacon again. But I, feel <laughs> I, better. Know, I don't blame you. I, I, I eat less, but I'm still full. The, the problem I had with the bacon was like I'd eat a little bit in the morning and then I'd eat later. And now it's just one meal and I'm done and I'm not hungry. But the, the thing that kind of lead me on the fence to stay online was that reason. I heard Dr. Barry talking about that. Someone said, well, you get skin, how do you get rid of loose skin? And he's like, surgery? Or if you do intermittent fasting, it uh, creates autophagy, and that'll help tighten your skin up. But it could take a long time. It's not going to happen overnight. So I'm like, well, that's kind of a cool added benefit and an, yeah. another little reason to maybe stick with it a little bit more. I, I found another benefit, too. Dr. Barry had one on skin tags. And was saying just cutting, you know, not eating carbs, which, you know, the carnivore diet does, cutting out the carbs. He says that literally shrinks all the skin tags until they just disappear.
but he said if you want to keep eating junk food and just want to have your uh skin tags removed he said he makes a lot of money doing that <laughs> right but yeah. he suggests that you just eat a better diet and just get rid of them the natural way so if you do have skin tags that's probably because you're you, uh, eating a lot of carbs and it's also he said a sign of pre-diabetes so right you know that's another reason to get on that carnivore if you're looking for reasons you know skin tag might be one yep man i i can't believe that we went through an hour and a half this has been really fun i know i'm having fun man I, i'd love to take a couple like more we've been Maybe... talking for like 30 minutes yeah Maybe we'll do one more. I hate to I hate to stop this, but our movie is almost over in like yeah. two minutes. And the, the girls are upstairs alone, so I got to get up there and help them. Here's one more from Trisha Martin. Well, I guess this isn't a question, but this is kind of a cool one. She just bought an awesome scale that measures body composition. It's like the one they use in the reverse series. I just made a spreadsheet too, so I can plug in my data, goals, and calculate my results. That's really cool. I'd like to get That's one cool. of those to see. Yeah, I, I would like to measure what body fat I'm at. And I the only place I've seen that does that is really like a gym you know, like, the, and I'm not going to open a membership to, right. I wish they had places like that where you don't have to get a membership to, uh, you know, find out more details of your body. You know, you can track your details, you know, like your actual body fat and stuff like that, especially For being sure. on the carnivore diet. I'd like to know that. That's going to be, we get the carnivore diet documentary out there. We get all these uh, YouTube videos going on and then it starts expanding. It's wouldn't it be a cool world if so many more people were on the carnivore? There's like, you could go to the carnivore restaurant and you don't mm -hmm. have to be like, no sides, no bread, no salad, just the meat. They just do it and they got all these options. And then you got places. I was like at that. the farmer's market and I said, there'd be nice if there was a carnivore stand here because everything was like sugar pops and, you know, candles and lettuce and uh, just deep fried. There was apple cider donuts, but like nobody, not one stand was for carnivores. Like someone saying, hey, I got meats for sale or, you know, like a butcher shop that came there. So I, I want to shout out to more of these these butchers and tell them or like these places that have meat, you know, like Kelly's Meats. That's one I'm looking into. Like if they could go to these farmers markets and start getting to the people and give them an option. Yeah. Yeah. We need more options. It's unfortunately they're all like sugar and junk food, which is it's, you got to really got to seek it out. But uh well, we can change that, though. That's what this documentary is for. We're, we can make big changes around here. And you, you're you going to just be shocked, man. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so pumped for it. I can't wait. This is crazy next week. So Emma and I are going next week to Alaska to build. We're going to start filming the documentary on location for real for the first time. And, of course, we'll be bringing you some YouTube videos of our journey and the adventure going out there because it's going to be one heck of an adventure. So uh, looking forward to that. But, hey, JT, Let's this is Daisy been... something. Yeah. Wait, bring a toy it? or something. Make sure you bring Daisy yeah. a toy or something. Yeah, I was thinking that Emma makes these little bracelets. I was like, she could make her a little one and have a little carnivore tag on it or something. That'd be awesome. I was trying to find a cat toy with two dice on it because he was talking about the fuzzy dice story. <laughs> yeah. <it cracked laughs> I was like, I <laughs> said that. That cracked me up. Yeah. Man, JT, this has been awesome. Thank you so much. So everyone should it's go check out JT's channel. Yeah, I got I got your link in the description, and it's down below. Is, is there anything else you want to shout out while you're on here, Facebook? Oh, uh, could you just put up that uh, that Einstein quote? I just wanted to leave people with. Oh, if you yeah, have it, sir. if you have it, just one sec. I forgot completely. No, but you're I, all good. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it up here in a second. You're all good. Yeah, I, this is. I'm telling you, I appreciate you. Uh, let me share my story, and I I hope that I help somebody out there you know, either you take the leap or if you suffer with something I have, like, or we turned on the light or something, I just hope I help somebody in some sort of way. So that was, the yeah, absolutely. Thing. That's some good stuff. Yeah. I, 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 hopefully we could see that. Okay. I wasn't able to download it separately. But okay. Yeah, no, you're all good. Yeah. This is a quote by Einstein and uh, it says, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. That's how you get your physical body. Get excited. Uh, like Bill, get excited. Get pumped up like I did. I saw Carrie. I got pumped up. I got excited. And I stayed in that vibration of the carnivore diet. And I matched that frequency. And now I have that reality. And like he says, it can be no other way. It's physics. And I hope that uh, helps you guys with something. I thought that would be a cool thing to leave off on. Some That's Einstein. I love it, man. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about the energy. Energy, for sure. Everything is energy. Yeah. 
Man, this has been great. Thank you so much, JT. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to send you that link so we can continue chatting tomorrow. Absolutely. Uh, and I'm going to check out Fathead, just not tomorrow, because I'm be watching your channel. So I'm already, right? I already got plans. You know what I'm saying? But I'll check out Fathead maybe Saturday or something. Yeah, you know? you're going to be busy for 10 hours tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to be watching the stream. So I've already got plans. But So Fathead can wait. But it's on my list, though. Hey, and if anyone, if anyone jumps on to watch the stream and they don't want to watch it for 10 hours, but you leave it on the background... I would really appreciate it. A lot of people don't know that, but that's going to help out with the YouTube algorithms and all that stuff in the background. So yeah, and any <laughs> of Carrie's live streams, I, this uh, over here, I should point. Uh, he, this guy's the dude, man. Like he, he had the uh, Jack on there. Was he seventy eight? Yes. Oh, I love that guy. Watch people's stories and share them. Like share them on Twitter, inst any any way you can. Send them to your friends. If someone can relate to Jack, send it to him. If someone can relate to someone else, send them that one. Just share the live streams and, and replay them and watch them because there's a lot of value. And my coach would always say repetition is the first law of learning. So you want to keep listening and listening and listening. And it's you, you, you'll hear one thing one time and you listen back and then you hear something else that you didn't hear because your mind will drift once in a while. So it's, it, there's value in replaying all these so that you gather all the information in all these streams. Cause Carrie is hooking people up. There's a lot to learn. And especially from all of us, you know, about our journeys and what helps us. So like there's value in the replay repetition guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks everyone. This was great. Thank you, JT. We're going to do this again. We'll do it tomorrow. And then we're going to do it again after that. So, Absolutely. See you later, everyone. Thanks. See you guys. Lot. Love you guys.